Here I am talking about dinosaurs again. Feels like I never left. Mm. In any case, uh, Senator, to answer your question, I, of course, think that we should allow our beautiful dinosaurs to be taken out by the volcano. Silence, please. As deeply sad as that would be, we altered the course of natural history. This is a correction. Are you suggesting the Almighty is taking matters in his own hands? Senator, with all due respect, God's not part of the equation, no. What I mean is that in the last century, we amassed a landmark technological power, and we've consistently proven ourselves incapable of handling that power. 80 years ago, who could have predicted nuclear proliferation? But then there it was. And now we've got genetic power. So how long is it going to take for that to spread around the globe? And what's going to be done with it? It ain't going to stop with the de-extinction of the dinosaurs. I'm not sure. I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about man-made cataclysmic change. What kind of change? Change is like death. Looks like until you're standing at the gates. Life cannot be contained. Life breaks free. Life finds a way. How many times do you have to see the evidence? How many times must the point be made? We're causing our own extinction. Too many red lines have been crossed. And our home has in fundamental ways been polluted by avarice and political megalomania. Genetic power has now been unleashed. And of course that's gonna be catastrophic. This change was inevitable from the moment we brought the first dinosaur back from extinction. We convince ourselves that sudden change is something that happens outside the normal order of things, like a car crash, or that it's beyond our control, like a fatal illness. We don't conceive of sudden, radical, irrational change as woven into the very fabric of existence. Yet I can assure you, it most assuredly is. And it's happening now. Humans and dinosaurs are now going to be forced to coexist. These creatures were here before us. And if we're not careful, they're going to be here after. We're going to have to adjust to new threats that we can't imagine. We've entered a new era. Welcome to Jurassic World.